What's going on everybody, it's a high unicorn and today I'm going to do a little tutorial in After Effects, how to get CC lens with a good color correction. Uh, this isn't a very advanced tutorial, this is kind of for everyone. Um, I mean, it's very simple to do. Might take you guys a little while longer if, I mean, you're a beginner or, I mean, if you're advanced, it still could take you a while because the keyframes, they could mess you up a lot. But I'm going to try and explain this as in-depth as I can so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I hope it helps so first off when you're in After Effects you want to go drag your video into the timeline what you want to do is you want to click on the video in the timeline and click Control D that will duplicate your video so that one's on top and one's on the bottom now what you want to do is you want to find the spot to where he shoots or wherever you want to put the CC lens so mine's about there. So you want to drag it to right when he's about to shoot. And then on the top video, you want to go up to Effects, go to Distort, then CC Lens. Now there will be this little bubble right here. What you want to do is click on this arrow from the top video, the layer. Click the arrow on the top video, go to Effects, then CC Lens, and then click this stopwatch right here next to size and then put it in zero now it should be like that now what you want to do is you want to go up like half a second and then go to the size again and set it to 500 and now you just want to work with the keyframes so I'm gonna drag this out a little bit more and then it looks Sort of like that. I'm going to drag it out a little more. And there you go. There's the explosion. CC lens looks really good. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to add the color correction. In order to get this color correction, you need to have a plugin called Magic Bullet Looks. This isn't free, so you'll probably have to buy it, or there's videos out there that can get it for you. But I'm not promoting that. I don't suggest doing that. That's not right. But, I mean, there is people out there that do it, and, I mean, I don't judge you guys, but, I mean, I'm just saying it's a lot easier to buy it, because then if you, like, crack it or something, there could be problems with it, and it won't work, and then your video will be screwed up. So, real quick, you want to set this resolution to full, which is right here. Set it to full, and then on the top layer, again, of the same video that you've had clicked, this whole video, basically, you want to go up to Effects, and Magic Bullet Looks. And then after you click looks, you want to go up here and click edit. Now, I have a ton of these things from Dare Zebo because he released a pack. So you guys will probably have to make yours. I mean, um, there's a lot of tutorials out there saying how to make them. So it's not that hard to make them. All you got to do is just come over here and then in the tools and you can make it really. But hold on, this is loading. I'm just going to pick a random color correction. Ah, uh, no, that one's not that good. Um, no, oh, sorry about this. I'm trying to get one to where you guys can tell the difference. Um, all right, this one should be fine. All right, and then you just come down to the bottom right corner and click OK and then it will change so if we come and play that back you can see hold on alright now he's about to shoot he's aiming in and hold on it's lagging for some reason alright now he shoots and then there's the explosion of the CC lens and then the color correction is there with it so as you can see guys this is not really complicated at all it's just the keyframes and how you did everything so if you followed my tutorial correctly then it should come out to something like this once it's done rendering so if this tutorial was confusing at all to you guys just send me a message or put a comment saying what you didn't get and then I could do either a video again explaining it or I could send you another message back explaining it so yeah I mean I'm going to have more After Effects tutorials out, except I haven't 
got very many requests. This was requested. So I don't remember your names, Ari, but I mean, if you guys want these tutorials, I mean, just send a message like he did or she. But um, yeah, just send these messages, guys. I'm willing to do these tutorials, as you can see here. I have all the devices you need to record, and uh, it's not a hassle for me, especially if it's over the weekend, because then I can do it, like, today's Saturday, so, yeah, so here's the video. Okay, that was kind of fast, so I'm gonna extend the video out some more, or I mean the keyframe, and I'm gonna click it again. There we go, that looks a lot better. So here we go. This might lag a lot for you guys. I'm sorry, it's my recorder. There we go. Okay, and you could add like an explosion right here. Like right when he shoots, you can have an explosion. It'll make it a lot better. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope it helped, as I said before. And uh, I hope my mic was clear, because I'm kind of sitting kind of far from it. But it's a Yeti, so really if you get too close, then it's going to sound like crap. I mean, this is a very good mic if you want to get it. Um, this is bluemics.com. Get it there. And uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Um, I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. So peace out, everybody.